Hey, welcome to Yoga in Bed. This is a quick yoga sequence that you can do in your bed before you go to sleep. And it's going to help you relax your mind, relax your back muscles, relax your pelvic floor muscles, and your hips. So what you're gonna do is get into your bed and then put your legs up the wall. So maybe that means they're going up the bed post behind you or maybe there's a wall next to your bed. Either way, lift your legs up. So I'm gonna lay down on my bed and I'm gonna swing my hips around to put my legs up the wall. And that's it. And you're just gonna breathe here. And I want to add a breath that can help to relieve anxiety. So what that looks like is Sata Na Ma breathing. And it's super effective because it just brings everything to the present moment so you can relax. So your hands will be open. Just find a comfortable place for them. You're gonna take a deep breath in and you exhale in four parts. Sa, index finger to thumb. Ta, middle finger to thumb. Na, ring finger to thumb. Ma, pinky to thumb. So you're just gonna breathe like that and focus on that mantra, focus on your breath and focus on just relaxing everything. So I'm inhaling. Sa, ta, na, ma. Good, keep going, breathe deep into the belly when you inhale. Sa, ta, na, ma. Keep going. Sa, ta, na, ma. By now you should feeling a little bit, be feeling a little bit more relaxed. See if you can shimmy your hips and just relax the muscles in your back a little bit more. Keep going. Sa, ta, na, ma. Inhale. Sa, ta, na, ma. Now you can stay in this pose for a while, like at least five minutes. Um, to make this a hip opener, we're going to cross our ankle over the left thigh, and then you start to bend the left knee, and now my hip is feeling it, that openness, and I'm gonna take my right hand and push my right knee away, keep flexing the right toes. So I've got a nice figure four stretch while I'm very relaxed. So this is great for tight hips because you can control how deep you want the hip opening stretch to be. And it's great for your pelvic floor, right? We're opening the hips and we're taking pressure off our lower back and our abdominal muscles so we can just breathe a little bit deeper into the pelvis. So I want you to take at least five belly breaths here. Let's do it together. <sighs> Let out any noises that are necessary. <sighs> noises to release the stress from the day. <sighs> and then you can release and we'll switch sides. So my right leg goes up, my left ankle goes across my right thigh just below the kneecap. And then I'm gonna just slowly bring that right foot down. Now this hip is a little bit tighter than my other, so I probably won't be able to bring my foot down that much. So I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna breathe. I'm pushing my left hand into my knee. I'm keeping my left toes flexed. Deep belly breaths. Now five deep breaths usually does the trick to help me relax completely. If, however, you want to stay longer, go for it. And I'm going to start to release, bringing my feet back up. And then you're going to pull your knees in towards your chest and roll to one side. Good. Next thing we're going to do is a restorative pose to open up your back muscles. So you're going to grab two pillows, one to two pillows, depending on how your back feels and depending on how big your pillow is. And all you're going to do is straighten your legs. You pull the pillows long ways across up to your hips. My hips are on the bed. And then all I'm going to do is reach my arms up and 
uh, drop back into restorative back bend. So my palms are facing up out to either side and I'm just gently opening up my back and it feels so good here you guys and this is it I'm just gonna breathe <sighs> if my thoughts are still going crazy I can come back to that sa ta na ma breathing and I encourage you to do that until you fall asleep if you happen to fall asleep here no big deal just put the pillow under your head when you wake up um, Worst case, you wake up with a really open heart. <sighs> okay, I don't think I want to get up anymore. <laughs>